Ladies and gentlemen, it is September 15, 2022. My name is Will Coons. This is an HM bonus edition of the homemade broadcast. Willspodcast.com, willsyoutube.com. It's a very troubling story coming to you today. Obviously, you heard over the week that, uh, and on a live stream perhaps, that the Tampa Bay Lightning had moved their broadcast to 1025 The Bone here locally in Tampa Bay. Now, that's in a little bit of a conundrum for me, a little bit of a problem, I guess, more than anything, because I'm on 102.5 The Bone approximately the times when the Tampa Bay Lightning are on the ice. Um, there was a little bit of a conspiracy that happened. Now, The Bone boasts one of the largest towers, radio towers, that covers a lot of the area, not only in Tampa Bay, but all the way down south, past Sarasota, past... I think even into Naples, you could potentially hear the station and all the way east up until around Orlando. Um, it's a huge, huge tower, one of the tallest structures in the world. So the Tampa Bay Lightning decided that they were going to uh, put it on the bone, which is great for the bone. Not so good for me. Great for the bone. However, conservative talk show hosts Clay Travis and Buck Sexton claim that they were to blame for this. Uh, because of their COVID misinformation, alleged COVID misinformation. There was a story in Creative Loafing Tampa that they cited. I don't really know if you can really claim that they're the best news source to go after, guys. Uh, they have a, uh, a tendency to um, be wrong about stuff. They're, they cover food and movies and music, and then occasionally they do like um, this this native tribe wants this statue taken down. Shouldn't we do that? So I don't know. They, they claim that WFLA was giving out COVID misinformation. And that is, in fact, why the Tampa Bay Lightning moved their broadcasts from WFLA to 102.5 The Bone. And there you see the article right here. There he is. Look at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> there he is in all of his glory. Clay Travis said that he will... He said, you have no idea what we're coming for. He's going to destroy the Tampa Bay Lightning because of this. Because of his history with citing the, I'm afraid, I don't know what I could say on YouTube anymore. I think you could, I don't know. I don't, you know what? Just that he said some stuff about the, you see what I'm doing? If you're watching the video, I think you'll know. Jamming it in there. Okay. That it might not, might not be as effective as they claimed initially. I think everybody's like, yeah, I know. Now, everybody knows that. But the claim was that Clay and Buck, these mammoths of conservative talk radio, made the lightning uncomfortable, and that's why they left. Well, Clay, well, Buck, guess what? I'm on 102.5 The Bone, and I've been giving out COVID misinformation for a long freaking time, brothers. Brothers, sisters, you all know this. Many of you have yelled at me. Now, have I been right about just about everything? Of course, yes. But no matter, I'm sure that Clay and Buck don't listen to your boy Bill at night on 1025 The Bone. But if they did, it would put their mind at ease. And they would know that it's just because of our enormous, giant tower that made the lightning come to the bone. It is a mighty bone of a tower and a mighty tower for a bone. So that's why the lightning are here, not because of the misinformation, Clay. And don't forget about who the true victim is here in all of this. As always, me. Thank you. HMBradio.com, WillsPodcast.com, WillsYouTube.com for all your misinformation. Goodbye.